In the pursuit of personal growth, resilience and inner strength, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers timeless wisdom and practical guidance. Rooted in the teachings of early Stoic philosophers such as Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, Stoicism provides a framework for living a life of virtue, purpose and mental fortitude. These Stoic principles, though developed over two millennia ago, continue to be a source of inspiration for those seeking to navigate the challenges of the modern world with equanimity and grace. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. This philosophy, which finds its roots in ancient Greece, has endured the test of time because of its emphasis on mastering one's own mind, developing a deep understanding of human nature, and finding contentment by focusing on what is truly within our control. In the following paragraphs, we will explore eight powerful Stoic lessons that are designed to forge inner strength, promote emotional resilience, and foster a deeper sense of fulfillment in the face of life's uncertainties. These lessons are not only a reflection of the wisdom of the Stoics, but also a testament to the enduring relevance of their teachings in our contemporary lives. Number eight, self-discipline. Stoicism places a strong emphasis on self-discipline as a means of achieving personal excellence and inner strength. Self-discipline involves the ability to control one's desires, emotions and behaviors in alignment with one's long-term goals and values. It encourages us to resist the allure of immediate gratification and make choices that are in our best interest, even when they may be difficult or uncomfortable. By practicing self-discipline, we gain a sense of mastery over ourselves, fostering resilience in the face of life's challenges. This stoic lesson teaches us that true freedom and happiness come not from the absence of rules or constraints, but from our ability to govern ourselves. It enables us to live a life that is guided by reason and wisdom rather than impulsive reactions to external stimuli. Self-discipline empowers us to make deliberate, well-informed decisions, even in the face of temptation or adversity. In this way, it becomes a powerful tool for building inner strength and achieving a sense of inner peace and contentment. Number seven, maintain equanimity. Stoicism advocates for the cultivation of equanimity, which is the ability to maintain a calm and rational mind in the face of both life's pleasures and pains. This stoic principle suggests that our emotional responses are often driven by our interpretations of events rather than the events themselves. By practicing equanimity, we learn to approach life with a balanced and steady demeanor, regardless of whether we're experiencing success or facing challenges. This emotional resilience allows us to navigate the ups and downs of life with greater composure and mental strength. Maintaining equanimity doesn't mean suppressing or denying one's emotions. Rather, it encourages acknowledging them and responding to them with wisdom and self-control. By not letting external circumstances dictate our internal state, we gain a sense of autonomy and inner peace. This stoic lesson helps us approach difficult situations with a clear and composed mind, making it easier to find solutions and make sound decisions. It also allows us to savor the moments of joy without becoming excessively attached to them, which can lead to anxiety and disappointment when they inevitably pass. In this way, equanimity is a powerful tool for building inner strength and emotional stability. Number six, live in the present. Stoicism encourages us to focus our attention on the present moment rather than dwelling on the past or worrying excessively about the future. This principle emphasizes the idea that the only reality we can truly experience and influence is the here and now. By immersing ourselves in the present, we become more attuned to our surroundings and experiences, 
fostering a deeper sense of mindfulness. This practice helps us make the most of each moment as we learn to appreciate the beauty and significance of everyday life. Living in the present is a powerful tool for cultivating inner strength as it allows us to break free from the burden of regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. It frees us from the cycle of rumination and what-ifs and enables us to take constructive action in the present. By embracing the here and now, we can better manage stress and find contentment in the unfolding of each day. This stoic lesson reminds us that life is a series of moments and the more fully we engage with the present, the more resilient and fulfilled we become. Number five, memento mori. The Latin phrase memento mori translates to remember that you will die. This stoic lesson serves as a powerful reminder of our mortality and the impermanence of life. It encourages us to confront the reality that our time on earth is finite and that death is an inevitable part of the human experience. While it might seem morbid, the purpose of this teaching is not to induce fear, but to inspire us to live more purposefully and fully. By acknowledging our own mortality, we can put our life into perspective, appreciate its fleeting nature, and make the most of the time we have. Memento Mori prompts us to reassess our priorities, focusing on what truly matters and making the most of the present moment. It acts as a motivator to set aside trivial concerns, grudges and distractions, encouraging us to live with intention and pursue our passions. This stoic lesson reminds us that we should not take life for granted and that our time is a valuable and irreplaceable resource. By embracing the idea of memento mori, we can build inner strength by approaching life with a greater sense of purpose, gratitude and a reduced fear of the unknown. Number four, dichotomy of control. The dichotomy of control is a central tenet of Stoicism that encourages individuals to distinguish between things they have control over and things they do not. According to this principle, there are two categories, the internal or up to us, which includes our thoughts, beliefs, desires and actions, and the external or not up to us, which encompasses events, circumstances and the behavior of others. Stoics argue that to attain inner strength and peace, one must accept this fundamental distinction and concentrate their energy and attention on what is within their control, while learning to accept with equanimity what is not. By adhering to the dichotomy of control, individuals can reduce anxiety and frustration as they cease trying to manipulate events beyond their influence. This stoic teaching encourages a shift in mindset from futile attempts to control external factors to proactive and reasoned control over their own responses and choices. It empowers individuals to make better decisions, manage their emotional reactions and adapt more gracefully to life's uncertainties. Ultimately, the dichotomy of control is a profound tool for developing inner strength as it helps us let go of the unnecessary burdens of trying to control the uncontrollable and instead focus on the aspects of life where we can truly make a difference. Number three, practice virtue. Stoics uphold four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Wisdom involves the pursuit of knowledge, self-awareness, and the capacity to make rational decisions. Courage means having the fortitude to face challenges and act ethically, even in the face of fear or adversity. Justice entails treating others fairly and impartially, while temperance emphasizes self-control and moderation in desires and pleasures. Practicing these virtues isn't just about moral righteousness. It's a way to achieve inner harmony and personal growth. By aligning our actions and decisions with these virtues, we cultivate a strong and resilient character, 
free from inner conflicts and regrets. The Stoic teaching of practicing virtue encourages us to strive for excellence in all areas of life and to become better individuals by holding ourselves to the highest moral standards. This, in turn, leads to a deep sense of inner strength and fulfillment as it helps us build a strong foundation of character that can withstand the trials and tribulations of life. Number 2. Accept Impermanence Stoicism teaches us to embrace the impermanence of all things in life. This means recognizing that nothing lasts forever, whether it's the good times, the bad times, relationships, or even life itself. Instead of resisting or fearing change and impermanence, Stoicism encourages us to acknowledge and accept this fundamental truth. By doing so, we can find solace in the natural ebb and flow of life, and we can adapt more gracefully to transitions and uncertainties. This Stoic lesson reminds us that clinging to the idea of permanence can lead to suffering and anxiety. It encourages us to release attachments to things, circumstances, and even our own existence without becoming indifferent. By accepting impermanence, we become more resilient and open to life's inevitable transformations, understanding that they are an intrinsic part of the human experience. It teaches us to value the present moment, cherish our relationships, and make the most of our time, knowing that these moments are fleeting. Ultimately, accepting impermanence is a profound lesson for building inner strength as it enables us to navigate change and uncertainty with grace and composure. Number 1. Detach from external things Stoicism encourages the practice of detaching from external things such as material possessions, social status and the opinions of others as a means of building inner strength and achieving lasting contentment. This principle emphasizes that our inner peace and well-being should not be contingent on external circumstances, which are often beyond our control. By detaching from the desire for more wealth, recognition or validation, we free ourselves from the relentless pursuit of ephemeral pleasures and transient sources of happiness. Detaching from external things doesn't imply forsaking all worldly possessions or ambitions. Instead, it suggests that we should place less importance on them and derive our sense of self-worth and contentment from within. This Stoic teaching helps us cultivate a sense of self-reliance and inner resilience, allowing us to remain unfazed by the fluctuations of the external world. By prioritizing our internal values and virtues, we become less susceptible to the anxieties and disappointments that can arise when we overly invest in external things. Ultimately, this practice enables us to find a deeper, more lasting sense of inner strength and satisfaction. In an age defined by the relentless cacophony of information and the ceaseless demands of modern life, Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, offers a profound antidote to the chaos that often engulfs us. With the guidance of Stoic principles, we can master the art of not caring about things that do not truly matter and learn the liberating skill of letting go. In this guide, we will explore 10 key Stoic principles that provide a roadmap for achieving a state of inner calm, resilience, and unwavering peace, no matter what storms life may brew. Derived from the wisdom of the Stoic philosophers, these principles are a timeless beacon in the tumultuous sea of existence. They teach us to discern between what we can control and what we cannot, to detach from the outcomes of our efforts, to grasp the impermanence of life, and to embrace adversity as a pathway to growth. By mastering these principles, we unlock the power to lead a life marked by self-mastery, emotional serenity, and a profound sense of inner strength. The key to a tranquil mind is mastering the art of not caring about things that are beyond your control. 
This guide serves as your portal into the profound world of Stoic philosophy. It is an invitation to embrace the Stoic way of life, cultivate a deep sense of gratitude, and to let go of the unnecessary burdens that weigh us down. Join us on this journey as we embark on a quest to master the art of not caring and discover the liberating beauty of letting go, inspired by the timeless wisdom of the Stoics. Number 10. Distinguish between what you can and cannot control. Distinguishing between what you can and cannot control is not merely an intellectual exercise. It's a profound shift in perspective that forms the bedrock of Stoic wisdom. To truly master this principle, you must ask yourself how you respond to events in your daily life. Delve deep into your reactions and ponder whether they are a product of external circumstances or your own thoughts and judgments. Through this introspection, you can transform your understanding of where your true power lies. As you become more skilled at recognizing the limits of your control, you'll discover the liberating freedom of letting go of the uncontrollable and focusing your energy on what truly matters. Now, how does this distinction between the controllable and uncontrollable connect to the stoic practice of detachment from outcomes? Number 9. Practice Detachment from Outcomes To truly master the art of detachment from outcomes, you must undergo a transformative change in your relationship with success and failure. This principle delves into the heart of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing that your worth and happiness should not hinge on external achievements. It's about embracing the idea that the process of striving towards a goal is where the true value lies, and the results are often beyond your control. To achieve mastery, contemplate the Stoic notion of Amor Fati, which means not only accepting but loving your fate. Delve deeper into this concept by questioning whether you can fully embrace all outcomes including those you perceive as unfavorable, as opportunities for growth and learning. By practicing this level of detachment, you can liberate yourself from the chains of outcome-dependent happiness and find contentment in the pursuit of your goals. Now, how does this profound practice of detachment from outcomes connect with the stoic principle of understanding the impermanence of life? And how can this understanding further enhance your ability to embrace Amor Fati? Number 8. Understand the impermanence of life. Mastering the understanding of life's impermanence involves a continuous practice of reflection and mindfulness. Delve deeper into the transient nature of all things by regularly contemplating the fleetingness of life. Recognize that attachment to material possessions relationships, and even life itself can lead to suffering. By developing a profound awareness of impermanence, you can let go of the grip that attachment has on your emotional well-being and find solace in embracing the present moment. Number 7. Cultivate Emotional Resilience Achieving emotional resilience is a lifelong journey that requires ongoing self-awareness and self-regulation. To master this principle, you must delve into the intimate connection between thoughts and emotions. Regularly engage in practices like journaling or cognitive reframing to challenge irrational beliefs and negative thought patterns. It's not about suppressing emotions, but about understanding their origins and learning to respond rationally. By deepening your emotional resilience, you can let go of the grip that external events have on your inner state and maintain composure in the face of adversity. Number 6. Embrace adversity as an opportunity. Embracing adversity as an opportunity means actively seeking growth and wisdom in challenging situations. To master this principle, you must cultivate a mindset of curiosity and resilience Regularly practice reframing difficulties as chances for personal development. Ask yourself what you can learn from adversity 
and how it can contribute to your character and strength. By delving deeper into this principle, you can let go of the fear of challenges and view them as valuable opportunities for personal growth. Number five, live in accordance with virtue. Living in accordance with virtue, a central tenet of Stoicism, is not a mere philosophical abstraction, but a call to embody the highest moral and ethical principles in your daily life. It involves an ongoing commitment to align your actions with the Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. To master this principle, you must engage in continuous self-examination and moral reflection. It's not about checking boxes, but an enduring journey to understand and live by the noblest of ideals. Delve deeper by regularly assessing your actions against these virtues. Ask yourself, am I acting with wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance? This ongoing self-scrutiny is essential to living a life in harmony with virtue. How does living in accordance with virtue connect with the stoic practice of mindfulness and reflection? Number four, practice mindfulness and reflection. Mindfulness and reflection are integral to stoic philosophy and complement the practice of living in accordance with virtue. To delve deeper into these practices, it's essential to cultivate a sense of presence in your daily life. Mindfulness invites you to be fully aware of the present moment, while reflection involves contemplating your thoughts and actions by asking, am I acting in alignment with virtue? During moments of mindfulness and reflection, you can strengthen your connection to the stoic virtues. This process of inner exploration fosters a deep understanding of your own character and helps you refine your ethical conduct. In turn, it reinforces the practice of living virtuously, creating a harmonious cycle of self-improvement. Now, how can maintaining a sense of mindfulness and reflection further enhance your ability to cultivate gratitude? And how does this interconnectedness contribute to your growth as a Stoic practitioner? Number three, cultivate gratitude for the present. Cultivating gratitude goes beyond listing things you're thankful for. It requires a transformative shift in perspective. To master this principle, you must develop a daily gratitude practice that allows you to fully immerse yourself in the present. It's about letting go of regrets and anxieties and truly appreciating the simplicity and beauty of the here and now. By delving deeper into the practice of gratitude, you can find contentment in the present moment and let go of the longing for what's missing. Number two, Memento Mori. Memento Mori, or remembering your mortality, is not a one-time realization, but an ongoing commitment to living intentionally. Delve deeper into this principle by contemplating the limited time you have in this life. It's about more than acknowledging the brevity of existence. It's a daily reminder of the importance of making the most of the time you have. By regularly embracing this awareness, you can let go of procrastination and live with a profound sense of purpose. Number one, remember your mortality. Remembering your mortality is a potent stoic practice designed to instill a profound sense of urgency and purpose in your life. It's not a morbid or pessimistic reflection, but a realistic acknowledgement of the finite nature of existence. To master this principle, you must delve deeply into the understanding that life is fleeting and unpredictable. Contemplate that every day is a gift and every moment is an opportunity to embrace life to the fullest. Regular reflection on your mortality is not about dwelling on death, but about recognizing the value of time and the importance of living with intention. This practice encourages you to ask questions like, what would I regret if I were to die tomorrow? And am I living in accordance with my true values and aspirations? 
By connecting your daily choices and actions to your awareness of mortality, you can let go of procrastination and superficial concerns and instead channel your energy towards what truly matters. Remembering your mortality is a deeply philosophical and existential reflection. It doesn't just prompt you to acknowledge the inevitability of death. It calls you to live a life of purpose and significance. By diving deeper into this practice, you can experience a transformation in your priorities and a profound shift in how you engage with the world. In the pursuit of emotional strength and resilience, Stoicism offers a profound and timeless wisdom that can guide us through the complex terrain of human interactions, especially when faced with disrespect. Stoic philosophy, which originated in ancient Greece, has long been celebrated for its practical approach to dealing with life's challenges. One of its core tenets is the art of managing our responses to external events, understanding that while we cannot always control the behavior of others, we can control our reactions. This philosophy equips us with a set of invaluable tools and principles to navigate instances of disrespect with grace, wisdom and inner strength. Man is disturbed not by things, but by the views he takes of them. In this exploration of Stoic lessons on handling disrespect, we will delve deep into ten essential principles. From maintaining emotional control to practicing forgiveness, Stoicism offers a comprehensive roadmap for responding to disrespect in ways that not only uphold our own integrity, but also foster personal growth and emotional resilience. Each principle provides a unique perspective and practical guidance, offering us the opportunity to transform moments of confrontation and tension into opportunities for self-improvement and inner peace. Let us embark on this stoic journey as we uncover the wisdom and strategies that can help us respond to disrespect with grace and emerge from these encounters stronger and wiser. Number 10. Maintain Emotional Control Stoicism teaches that the ability to maintain emotional control is a hallmark of inner strength and resilience, especially when faced with disrespect. This foundational Stoic principle underscores the belief that while external events may happen beyond our control, we have the power to dictate our emotional responses. When someone acts disrespectfully towards you, Stoicism advises against immediate, emotionally charged reactions such as anger or indignation. Instead, it encourages you to recognize your emotional reactions without being governed by them. By practicing emotional composure, you can respond to disrespect with grace and self-possession, even in the face of provocation. This inner fortitude is a testament to Stoicism's practical application in navigating life's challenges. It enables you to transcend the immediate turmoil of the moment, holding your emotional ground and maintaining a sense of calm. How does this Stoic emphasis on emotional control empower individuals to navigate disrespectful situations with grace, resilience and greater self-awareness? Number 9. Practice empathy. In Stoicism, practicing empathy is not seen as a sign of weakness, but as a potent tool for handling disrespect with wisdom and grace. When faced with someone behaving disrespectfully, Stoicism prompts you to delve deeper into their perspective, not to excuse their behavior, but to understand it. The Stoics remind us that individuals displaying disrespect may be acting from a place of insecurity, ignorance, or misunderstanding. By embracing empathy, you gain a more profound understanding of their motivations, which can lead to more constructive responses. Stoicism encourages a level of patience and compassion that aligns with the Stoic principles of wisdom and understanding. This approach allows you to respond to disrespect with a broader sense of humanity 
transcending surface level negativity. By practicing empathy, you not only showcase your own inner strength, but also have the potential to diffuse tensions, encourage open communication, and pave the way for a more harmonious resolution when addressing disrespect. How does the Stoic practice of empathy contribute to a deeper sense of understanding and tolerance, even in situations where disrespect is involved, ultimately fostering personal growth and resilience? Number 8. Choose your battles. Choosing your battles is a testament to the wisdom and discernment inherent in Stoic philosophy. It emphasizes that not every instance of disrespect necessitates an immediate response. Instead, it encourages a deliberate and reflective approach to determine when it's genuinely worthwhile to address disrespectful behavior. This Stoic teaching is not a call to passivity, but a recognition that reacting impulsively to every perceived offense can be emotionally exhausting and counterproductive. By choosing your battles wisely, you conserve your emotional energy, maintain your inner calm, and preserve your sense of dignity. The Stoic principle guides you to assess the significance and consequences of responding to disrespect, ensuring that your reactions are measured, purposeful, and aligned with your values. It encourages you to rise above pettiness and respond to disrespect with a sense of poise and perspective. Number seven, respond, don't react. Stoicism further underscores the importance of responding, not reacting, when dealing with disrespect. Instead of impulsively reacting in anger or indignation, the Stoic approach advises taking a moment to formulate a thoughtful response. This practice aligns with Stoic values of rationality and self-control. By responding instead of reacting, you gain the upper hand in interactions where disrespect is involved. This approach allows you to maintain emotional control and respond with a composed and reasoned demeanor. It also grants you an opportunity to influence the direction of the conversation and the resolution of the conflict. Stoicism teaches that it's the individual who responds with wisdom and self-mastery, not one who reacts emotionally, who ultimately holds the power in a situation. How can the Stoic practice of choosing your battles complement the ability to respond, not react, when confronted with disrespectful behavior, leading to more effective and balanced interactions? Number six, set boundaries. In the Stoic approach to handling disrespect, the practice of setting and maintaining personal boundaries is a cornerstone of emotional resilience and self-respect. Stoicism recognizes that individuals must clearly define the limits of what they find acceptable and unacceptable in their interactions with others. By setting these boundaries, you communicate your expectations to those around you, establishing a framework for respectful treatment. Stoicism encourages the idea that it's not only appropriate, but crucial to protect your emotional and mental well-being by asserting these boundaries. This stoic lesson emphasizes the importance of self-respect and assertiveness as it empowers you to defend your emotional and mental integrity. Setting boundaries is a practical application of stoic philosophy, allowing you to respond to disrespectful behavior with firmness and clarity, all while upholding your core values and commitment to virtue. Number five, focus on virtue. In the Stoic worldview, maintaining a focus on virtue is central to dealing with disrespect and maintaining emotional resilience. Stoicism posits that how you respond to disrespect should be guided by your commitment to living a virtuous life. When you encounter disrespectful behavior, the Stoic response is not rooted in vengeance or retribution, but in upholding your own integrity and moral principles. By keeping virtue as your compass, you ensure that your reactions to disrespect align with wisdom, courage, justice, 
and other stoic virtues. This approach encourages you to rise above pettiness, focusing on the bigger picture of your character and the quality of your responses. How does the practice of setting and defending personal boundaries relate to the stoic emphasis on focusing on virtue when confronted with disrespectful behavior, ultimately contributing to greater self-respect and emotional strength? Number four, maintain inner peace. Stoicism places a significant emphasis on maintaining inner peace when dealing with disrespect considering it a vital component of emotional strength and resilience. Stoics understand that external events, including disrespectful behavior from others, should not have the power to disrupt your inner tranquility. In the Stoic worldview, your emotional state is your responsibility, and by maintaining inner peace, you remain steadfast and unshaken by external provocations. The stoic practice of inner peace allows you to respond to disrespect with a sense of composure and serenity, even in the face of challenging circumstances. This stoic lesson is a powerful tool for navigating life's complexities as it keeps you focused on your own reactions and emotions, fostering emotional strength and an unwavering sense of self. So. How does Stoicism's emphasis on maintaining inner peace align with the Stoic practice of avoiding retaliation when confronted with disrespectful behavior? And how do these principles collectively contribute to a more balanced and emotionally resilient response? Number three, avoid retaliation. Stoicism offers a profound insight when it comes to handling disrespect by advising against retaliation as a response. This stoic principle recognizes that retaliation often perpetuates a cycle of negativity, causing further harm without addressing the core issue. Instead, stoicism promotes a more considered and emotionally intelligent approach. By choosing not to retaliate, you demonstrate not only emotional resilience, but also a commendable degree of self-control. This stoic lesson encourages individuals to transcend the impulse to respond in kind, urging them to focus on maintaining their integrity and self-respect, even in the face of provocation. It aligns seamlessly with stoic values such as rationality and self-discipline, reminding us that reacting impulsively can often lead to regret and worsen the situation. By avoiding retaliation, you create a mental space for more thoughtful and constructive responses that facilitate personal growth and maintain the moral high ground, ultimately fostering emotional strength. Number two, use disrespect as an opportunity. In Stoicism, using disrespect as an opportunity for personal growth and self-improvement is a transformative perspective. Instead of reacting with retaliation or anger, Stoicism suggests that disrespect can serve as a valuable moment for reflection and self-betterment. By shifting your mindset, you can view disrespectful behavior as an opportunity to exercise patience, understanding, and empathy, while simultaneously reinforcing your commitment to Stoic virtues. This approach aligns with Stoic principles of wisdom and self-improvement, encouraging individuals to extract lessons from adversity and emerge from disrespectful encounters as wiser and more resilient individuals. How does the Stoic practice of avoiding retaliation complement the Stoic perspective of using disrespect as an opportunity for personal growth and self-improvement? And how can these interconnected principles foster more constructive, balanced, and emotionally resilient responses to disrespectful behavior? Number one, practice forgiveness. Stoicism, in its pursuit of emotional resilience and inner strength, places significant importance on the practice of forgiveness. In the Stoic worldview, Forgiveness is not seen as a sign of weakness, 
but as a potent tool for personal liberation. By forgiving those who have shown disrespect, you free yourself from the burden of resentment and bitterness. Stoicism teaches that holding on to grudges is akin to allowing someone who has wronged you to continue exerting control over your emotional well-being. Through forgiveness, you regain that control, liberating yourself from the emotional chains of anger and hurt. This stoic lesson encourages individuals to focus on the present and the future rather than dwelling on the past. By practicing forgiveness, you open the door to emotional healing, personal growth, and a more peaceful existence. This aligns seamlessly with Stoic principles as it emphasizes the importance of maintaining inner tranquility and pursuing a life in harmony with virtue. In the pursuit of mental toughness and emotional resilience, Stoicism offers a profound and timeless philosophy that equips us to face life's most challenging lessons with grace and strength. Rooted in ancient Greek philosophy, Stoicism has long been celebrated for its practical approach to life's adversities, offering a roadmap for fortifying the mind and spirit in the face of painful experiences. Change your thoughts and you change your world. This exploration delves into seven painful yet invaluable lessons inspired by Stoicism, each designed to enhance our mental toughness. These lessons, grounded in Stoic principles, compel us to embrace discomfort, accept the limits of our control, and cultivate inner strength. They prompt us to practice self-discipline, maintain perspective, and confront failure with resilience. Stoicism encourages us to practice mindfulness, maintain equanimity, and seek virtue above comfort. Most significantly, it urges us to accept our mortality and lead lives of purpose and virtue. In this journey through seven painful lessons, we will uncover how Stoicism's wisdom empowers us to build and sustain mental toughness enabling us to navigate the challenges of life with unwavering strength and a deep sense of resilience. Developing and maintaining mental toughness often involves learning from experiences and embracing the principles of Stoicism. Here are 10 painful lessons that can contribute to building mental toughness based on Stoic philosophy. Number seven, acceptance of what you cannot control. The fundamental concept of accepting what you cannot control is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and a profound lesson in building mental toughness. It teaches us that much of our suffering arises from futile attempts to change or manipulate circumstances beyond our influence. Instead of dwelling on the uncontrollable, Stoicism encourages individuals to shift their focus to what they can control their own thoughts, emotions, and responses. This shift in perspective liberates us from the burden of unnecessary anxiety and allows us to channel our energy more productively. Acceptance of what you cannot control doesn't mean passive resignation. Rather, it fosters a proactive approach to life's challenges. It empowers us to choose our responses wisely and adapt to circumstances recognizing that true strength lies in our ability to endure and thrive amidst the unpredictable and uncontrollable aspects of existence. This lesson encourages mental resilience by teaching us to detach our well-being from external events and instead anchor it in our internal, steadfast acceptance of the inherent uncertainty of life. Now, how does accepting what you cannot control lay the foundation for a proactive mindset. Number six, adopting a proactive mindset. Adopting a proactive mindset is a critical component of developing mental toughness, and it resonates strongly with Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us that we have the power to choose our responses to external events, irrespective of the circumstances we find ourselves in. 
A proactive mindset goes hand in hand with this idea, as it encourages individuals to take responsibility for their own lives and be the architects of their destiny. Rather than reacting passively to life's challenges, a proactive approach means actively seeking solutions, making informed decisions, and focusing on what can be controlled. This mindset shift empowers individuals to navigate adversity with resilience and determination. In a proactive mindset, individuals view setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of dwelling on the past or waiting for external circumstances to change, they take the initiative to create a positive change in their lives. This approach not only builds mental toughness but also fosters a sense of empowerment. As individuals recognize that they are not helpless victims of fate but capable agents of their own progress. By embracing a proactive mindset, one can better weather life's storms and emerge stronger and more resilient, regardless of the challenges that come their way. Number 5. Embracing Discomfort Embracing discomfort is a powerful lesson for developing mental toughness and is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. The Stoics believed that voluntarily subjecting oneself to discomfort, adversity and even pain could be a path to self-improvement and resilience. By willingly confronting challenging situations, we can desensitize ourselves to discomfort, becoming less fearful and more adept at handling life's inevitable hardships. This practice empowers individuals to transcend their comfort zones and embrace personal growth, as they learn that it's through discomfort that they can truly test and strengthen their mental fortitude. Stoicism teaches that by embracing discomfort, individuals become better equipped to face adversity with equanimity. This willingness to endure discomfort is not a masochistic pursuit, but a conscious choice to confront fears, insecurities, and uncertainties head-on. It enables us to develop a mindset that thrives in the face of discomfort and find strength and resilience in adversity, ultimately making us more adaptable, self-reliant, and better prepared to tackle life's challenges with grace and composure. Number 4. Facing failure as an opportunity. Facing failure as an opportunity is a fundamental principle of Stoicism and a vital lesson for cultivating mental toughness. Rather than seeing failure as a dead end or a cause for despair, Stoicism encourages individuals to view it as a valuable stepping stone towards growth and self-improvement. Failure is an inevitable part of life and it's through these setbacks that we gain valuable insights, develop resilience and learn how to navigate the complex journey of existence. In Stoic philosophy, every failure is an opportunity to refine one's character, build wisdom and refine one's approach to future challenges. This perspective shift transforms the way we perceive and respond to failure. It encourages us to embrace failures as chances to reassess our strategies, adapt and emerge stronger. By accepting failure as an opportunity, individuals become more open to taking risks, less afraid of making mistakes and more willing to persist in the face of adversity. It's a lesson that teaches us not to be defined by our failures, but to use them as building blocks for a more resilient and capable self ultimately fostering mental toughness that can withstand life's trials. Number 3. Understanding the impermanence of everything. Understanding the impermanence of everything is a profound concept that forms the basis of Stoic philosophy and contributes significantly to the development of mental toughness. The Stoics recognize that change is a fundamental aspect of the human experience and nothing in life, whether it be joy or suffering, is permanent. Embracing this idea enables individuals to navigate the ups and downs of life with equanimity. It reminds us that even in our most challenging moments, this too shall pass. 
and in our happiest times, we should savor the present without clinging to it excessively. This understanding encourages a sense of detachment from fleeting emotions and circumstances, allowing individuals to approach life's uncertainties with a calm and composed mindset. Recognizing the impermanence of everything is not a bleak or pessimistic view, but rather a realistic one. It teaches us to appreciate the present moment, knowing that it won't last forever, and to approach adversity with the understanding that it too has a limited duration. This perspective fosters mental toughness by helping individuals avoid being overwhelmed by the transitory nature of life, instead focusing on their response to it. By accepting the impermanence of all things, we become better equipped to endure difficulties and appreciate the beauty of life, irrespective of its ever-changing nature. So, how does an understanding of impermanence relate to the practice of gratitude? Number two, practicing self-discipline. Practicing self-discipline is a fundamental element in the pursuit of mental toughness, and it aligns closely with Stoic principles. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-control and rationality in managing one's responses to external events. The Stoics believed that true freedom and strength lie in the ability to govern one's desires and impulses. Self-discipline allows individuals to resist instant gratification, make decisions based on long-term goals and values, and withstand the temptations and distractions of daily life. It is the foundation upon which resilience, emotional stability, and mental toughness are built. Embracing self-discipline is a conscious choice to act in accordance with one's principles and goals, even in the face of discomfort or adversity. It's a practice that requires consistent effort and dedication. By exercising self-discipline, Individuals can train themselves to remain composed and focused under pressure, make wise decisions in challenging circumstances, and maintain a steadfast commitment to their values. Ultimately, self-discipline empowers individuals to harness their inner strength, leading to a greater sense of mental toughness that enables them to confront life's trials with grace and determination. Number one, cultivating resilience through adversity. Cultivating resilience through adversity is a core principle in Stoic philosophy and a pivotal lesson for developing mental toughness. Stoicism teaches that challenges and setbacks are not obstacles to be avoided, but opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Embracing adversity with a resilient spirit means acknowledging the inevitability of difficulties and using them as a means to become stronger and wiser. By facing adversity head-on and learning to adapt to difficult circumstances, individuals can develop the capacity to endure hardships with grace and fortitude. Resilience cultivated through adversity is not about avoiding discomfort or pain, Rather, it's about learning how to respond to these challenges in a way that promotes personal growth and emotional strength. By embracing adversity as a natural part of life, individuals can develop a sense of inner toughness that allows them to maintain their composure, make rational decisions, and persevere in the face of life's trials. This resilience, born from a stoic approach to adversity, equips individuals with the mental fortitude needed to navigate the ups and downs of life with poise and resilience. Drawing from ancient wisdom, these 25 lessons offer practical insights and strategies to navigate the complexities of modern life with poise and purpose. Embark on a journey towards clearer, more thoughtful decision-making. Number 25. Cultivate Rationality Stoicism places a strong emphasis on cultivating rational thinking. By prioritizing rationality, we develop the ability to think clearly and make well-reasoned decisions, even when faced with challenging circumstances. 
This involves setting aside emotional reactions and biases, allowing us to approach problems and choices with a more logical and balanced mindset. In essence, Stoicism teaches us to harness the power of reason as a guiding light in our thinking, helping us navigate life's complexities with clarity and composure. Number 24. Embrace objectivity. Stoicism places great importance on seeing situations objectively, free from personal biases and judgments. By embracing objectivity, we can approach problems and decisions with a clearer perspective. This involves stepping back from our emotions and personal attachments to view matters impartially. In doing so, we can think more clearly and make choices based on a more accurate understanding of reality rather than one colored by subjective interpretations. Number 23. Seek Wisdom. Wisdom is highly valued in Stoicism as it contributes significantly to clear thinking by seeking wisdom through continuous learning and self-improvement, we develop the ability to think clearly and make sound judgments. Wisdom enables us to draw from a deep well of knowledge and experience, providing us with valuable insights to navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and purpose. Number 22. Manage negative emotions. Stoicism teaches us the importance of managing negative emotions like anger and fear, which can cloud our thinking. By mastering our emotions, we can maintain a clear and calm mindset, enabling us to approach challenges with greater clarity. This involves recognizing and acknowledging these emotions, while not allowing them to dictate our actions or thoughts. By managing negative emotions, we can maintain a rational perspective, even when faced with adversity. Number 21. Practice impartiality. Impartiality, or the ability to be an impartial observer of our thoughts and emotions, is a core Stoic practice. By practicing impartiality, we can think more clearly and objectively, free from personal biases and attachments that might cloud our judgment. This involves stepping outside of ourselves and looking at our thoughts and emotions as if they belong to someone else. In doing so, we can assess situations with greater objectivity and make decisions based on reason rather than emotional reactions. Number 20. Use critical thinking. Critical thinking is essential for clear and logical thought processes. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of questioning assumptions, evaluating evidence, and making well-informed decisions based on reason and evidence. Critical thinking involves examining the validity of our beliefs and being open to revising them when new information becomes available. By honing our critical thinking skills, we can approach complex issues with greater clarity and make choices that are grounded in rationality. Number 19. Simplify complex problems. Stoicism advocates for breaking down complex problems into manageable parts. By simplifying challenges, we can think more clearly and methodically, finding effective solutions to even the most intricate issues. This practice involves deconstructing problems into smaller, more digestible components, allowing us to tackle each aspect systematically. By simplifying complex problems, we reduce the overwhelm that can cloud our thinking, enabling us to approach each element with greater clarity. Number 18. Prioritize values-based thinking. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize values-based thinking in our decision-making processes. By aligning our thoughts and decisions with our core values and principles, we can think more clearly and confidently. This involves identifying our fundamental values and using them as guiding principles when faced with choices. Values-based thinking ensures that our decisions are consistent with our truest selves and what matters most to us, providing a clear and principled foundation for our thinking. Number 17. 
practice perspective. Taking Stoicism encourages us to consider different perspectives in our thinking. By practicing perspective taking, we gain a broader view of situations, which allows us to think more clearly and make decisions that consider the interests of others as well. This practice involves empathetically putting ourselves in the shoes of others, understanding their viewpoints and considering how our choices may impact them. Perspective taking fosters empathy and enhances our ability to make thoughtful and considerate decisions. Number 16. Balance Emotion and Reason Stoicism promotes a balance between emotion and reason. By acknowledging and validating emotions while still relying on reason, we can think clearly and make decisions that are both rational and emotionally intelligent. This balance involves recognizing the value of our emotions as signals and sources of information, while also ensuring that our reasoning processes remain grounded in logic and evidence. By striking this balance, we can approach challenges with emotional resilience and clarity. Number 15. Set clear goals. Setting clear, well-defined goals helps in clear thinking. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of knowing what you want to achieve, which provides clarity and purpose in your thought processes and decision-making. When we have clear goals, we can think more clearly because our objectives serve as guiding beacons, helping us prioritize our actions and choices. Setting specific goals also allows us to measure our progress and stay focused on what truly matters to us. Number 14. Manage stress. Stress can cloud our thinking and impair our ability to make clear decisions. Stoicism teaches us to manage stress through mindfulness, self-awareness and rational analysis. By acknowledging and addressing the sources of stress in our lives, we can maintain clear thinking even in challenging situations. This practice involves identifying stressors implementing coping strategies and staying mindful of our reactions. By managing stress effectively, we can ensure that our thoughts remain clear and rational, allowing us to make better choices. Number 13. Reflect on past mistakes. Stoicism encourages self-reflection and learning from past mistakes. By taking the time to reflect on our errors and experiences, we can think more clearly about future decisions and avoid repeating similar pitfalls. This practice involves an honest examination of our past actions, acknowledging where we went wrong and extracting valuable lessons. By reflecting on our mistakes, we can develop a clearer understanding of ourselves and refine our decision-making processes. Number 12. Cultivate Discernment. Discernment the ability to judge situations and people wisely is a valuable trait in clear thinking. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate discernment, allowing us to think clearly and make informed choices that align with our values and goals. This involves developing a keen sense of judgment by carefully evaluating situations, people and information. By honing our discernment, we can navigate life's complexities with greater clarity, making decisions that are in our best interests. Number 11. Avoid hasty judgments. Stoicism advises against making hasty judgments. By taking the time to gather information and consider all aspects of a situation, we can think more clearly and avoid impulsive decisions. This practice involves a deliberate and thoughtful approach to decision-making, resisting the urge to rush to conclusions. By avoiding hasty judgments, we ensure that our choices are well considered and based on a thorough understanding of the matter at hand. Number 10. Maintain equanimity. Equanimity or emotional balance is crucial for clear thinking. Stoicism teaches us to maintain equanimity in the face of adversity, ensuring that our thoughts remain clear and rational even during difficult times. This practice involves cultivating a calm 
and composed mindset, regardless of external circumstances. By maintaining equanimity, we can approach challenges with a clear and steady mind, making decisions that are not swayed by emotional turbulence. Number 9. Practice Intellectual Humility Intellectual humility involves recognizing the limits of our knowledge. Stoicism encourages us to practice intellectual humility, which allows us to approach complex issues with an open mind and a willingness to learn from others. This practice involves acknowledging that we may not have all the answers and that there is always room for growth and learning. By practicing intellectual humility, we can engage in discussions and decision-making with a clear understanding of our own limitations and a willingness to seek knowledge from diverse sources. Number 8. Value, Truth Above All Stoicism places a high value on truth. By prioritizing truth in our thinking and decision-making, we can maintain clear and principled judgment even when facing difficult choices. This practice involves a commitment to honesty and a dedication to seeking the truth in all matters. By valuing truth above all else, we ensure that our thoughts and decisions are grounded in reality, allowing us to make choices that align with our values and principles. Number 7. Consider Long-Term Consequences Stoicism encourages us to consider the long-term consequences of our actions and decisions. By thinking ahead and weighing the potential outcomes, we can make clearer and more prudent choices. This practice involves a thoughtful and forward-looking approach to decision-making. By considering the long-term consequences, we ensure that our choices align with our overarching goals and values leading to more informed and clear thinking decisions. Number 6. Maintain a growth mindset. A growth mindset involves the belief that we can learn and improve over time. Stoicism promotes a growth mindset, which allows us to approach challenges with a clear and adaptable mindset, free from self-limiting beliefs. This practice involves viewing challenges as opportunities for growth and embracing setbacks as learning experiences. By maintaining a growth mindset, we can think more clearly about our potential and capabilities, fostering resilience and a willingness to explore new possibilities. Number 5. Set Boundaries Stoicism encourages setting healthy boundaries in our relationships and commitments. By setting boundaries, we can think more clearly and make decisions that prioritize our well-being and values. This practice involves defining and communicating our limits to others, ensuring that our personal boundaries are respected. By setting boundaries, we can maintain a clear sense of self and make choices that align with our values and priorities. Number 4. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is a powerful tool for enhancing clear thinking. Stoicism encourages us to stay present, self-aware and in control of our thoughts. This practice enables us to think more clearly by minimizing distractions and emotional interference. When we are mindful, we can observe our thoughts without judgment, allowing us to make more deliberate and rational choices. By staying grounded in the present moment, we can better assess situations and respond with greater clarity. Number 3. Balance Solitude and Social Interaction Stoicism suggests finding a balance between solitude for introspection and social interaction for learning and growth. This balance ensures that our thinking remains clear and well-rounded. This practice involves recognizing the value of both solitude and social engagement in our lives. By striking this balance, we can engage in self-reflection and introspection when needed, while also benefiting from the perspectives and insights gained through meaningful social interactions. Number 2. Practice Self-Reflection Regular self-reflection is a stoic practice that enhances clear thinking. 
By taking time to examine our thoughts, actions and values, we can gain deeper insights and make more informed decisions. This practice involves setting aside dedicated time for introspection and self-assessment. By practicing self-reflection, we can enhance our self-awareness and gain clarity about our motivations, beliefs and goals, ultimately leading to more deliberate and clear thinking. Number 1. Accept Responsibility Stoicism teaches us to take responsibility for our thoughts and actions. By accepting responsibility, we can think more clearly about the consequences of our choices and make decisions aligned with our values and principles. This practice involves acknowledging that we are the authors of our own thoughts and behaviors, and we have the power to make choices that reflect our character and values. By accepting responsibility, we ensure that our thinking remains clear, principled, and aligned with our ethical compass. If you're here, you've shown your willpower and commitment to self-improvement. To keep growing, embrace these Stoic-inspired habits. Like and share this content, and tell us which Stoic lessons you'd like next. Click the video to continue your journey. Thank you for joining our community of discipline and wisdom.